Botanically speaking, the tomato is a fruit. To preface this statement with a did you know would, at this stage in human development, be redundant and slightly insulting. The number of people who know this now, I would readily believe, outweighs the number of those who don't by a statistically significant proportion. But did you know that capsicums, pumpkins, chilies, and a swathe of other so-called vegetables are also fruits? Did you know that the banana plant, but not the bit that you eat, is technically a herb? Did you know that apples belong to a subspecies of fruits called accessory fruits? The tomato is a vegetable. It is a widely made assertion by many people, including famed Australian PhD holders who frequent radio and television. You don't include it in a fruit salad, but you do include it on a pizza, on a hamburger, or in a savoury salad. Culinarily, for sure, the tomato is a vegetable. But then, you can put pineapple in a fruit salad, and some peculiar people enjoy it on their hamburgers, and even stranger, their pizza. So culinarily speaking, what is a pineapple? Is it both? Is it some third option? Well, whilst I can't answer that question, I can tell you that pineapples are a member of the family of multiple fruits. These are fruits formed from a cluster of flowers, called an inflorescence, where each flower produces an individual fruit that, over the course of maturation, develops with the other fruits into a single mass. There are, in fact, a great deal of subfamilies of fruits, as the word fruit itself is an incredibly loose definition that doesn't really provide us with much information except for the fact that it's a part of a flowering plant derived from specific tissues of the flower and one or more ovaries. This definition of fruits means that foods such as corn kernels, wheat grains, peanuts, hazelnuts, and carrot seeds are all fruits. Beetroots are fruits. Magnolias are fruits. Dandelions are fruits. Given that so many things that we eat are fruits, one could be forgiven for asking just what on earth is left to fall into the vegetable category. This question, unfortunately, is even more complex than the fruit version I covered not moments ago. Culinarily, certainly, a vegetable is just an edible plant or part thereof. Botanically, however, vegetables don't really exist. What we would call vegetables are instead simply various aspects of a plant, such as the flower buds in the case of broccoli, leaves in the case of spinach, and stems in the case of ginger. Celery is just the stem of a leaf, a carrot is a root, and soybeans are a sprout. And that only scratches the surface of the different parts of a plant that make up what we so casually call vegetables. According to the Australian government, we are advised to consume two servings of fruit and five servings of vegetables each day, where a serving is equal to half a cup of sliced raw produce. But if vegetables don't exist, then how can we get our daily two and five that so often are we told to consume? In the guidelines released by the government, we are, apparently, to look at the food we consume in the culinary sense, treating the tomato and its confusing compatriots as vegetables rather than as fruit. But then, where is the scientific basis in treating something as something it is not? It would seem that, based on recommendations by other nutritional authorities, there is no basis at all and that instead of getting two serves of fruit and five serves of vegetables, you're better off ensuring that you have seven serves of any plant matter in your system. And so we reach the close of another fact-finding session, and another discussion draws itself to an end. And now you know that if anybody in some falsely righteous rant on food tells you that the tomato isn't a vegetable, you can confidently bet them that they couldn't name another if they tried. But, oh, 
All of this talk of food has made me hungry. I feel I shall take a page out of Chairman Kaga's book. Ale, cuisine. Hey everyone, thanks for making it to the end of another video. If you like this, please remember to share it with your friends and click the little thumbs up sign down here. If you really liked it and you want to see more, then you can subscribe to my channel by clicking what I assume is just around the, this portion of the screen. And if you want to see my previous video, then you can click around here somewhere. Alright, I will see you next week.